In this video, I'm going to show you how I use my uh, AVHC-10 THC system to make uh, this particular part right here. The part is actually for a tabletop plasma guide that I'm making. The part's made from a piece of steel one eighth inch thick. It's four and a half inches tall and two inches wide. I need to get the part into sheet cam, but uh, I can't export a DXF directly from Inventor. So what I'm going to do is create a drawing and export it into a format that I know I can convert. In this case, it's going to be a PDF. To convert it to DXF, I'm going to use VCarve Pro. Uh, load the PDF and then export it as a DXF. You can use other programs. Uh, these are just what I happen to have on hand. In Sheet Cam, I create a new part and import the DXF. Once the DXF is imported, I can actually start moving some of these objects into some uh, layers. I start by moving the two holes into a holes layer, and then I move the slots into a slot layer. This will allow me to do slightly different operations with these. I'll start by adding my ohmic sensor uh, offset to the job. Next, I add the slot cutting operation. Next, I change the start and stop positions for the plasma cutter. I change the lead in and lead out a little bit so that the start and stop points are in the center of the cutout. And then repeat the process for the uh, hole operation. There's not a whole lot of room to pierce the small holes here, so we're going to change things around a little bit and see if we can't get the start and stop points to the near the center of the hole. I'm now ready to generate my G-code. I cut two pieces of two inch bar stock to four and a half inches. I mount the stock into my fixture. I then start a job with the THC turned off in Mach 3. This will cause Mach 3 to ignore any commands coming from the AVHC-10. The AVHC-10 actually uses a hardware uh, signal to turn the uh, THC internally on and off so it doesn't dive. This is set by rules in sheet cam. And as you can see here, very smooth, no pausing where it's not supposed to pause. Let's take a closer look uh, at that dry run again. If you notice the two outside LEDs, when they are lit, a rule has said do not send Mach 3 up and down signals. Notice how the uh, small circles, the two LEDs are on during the whole cut. One of the sheet cam rules has pretty much turned off the THC during these cuts. 
Okay, so let's insert a piece and make an actual cut. Here I turn the uh, downdraft system on. I'm using 45 amp uh, consumables and I'm cutting at 100 uh, inches per minute. And here's the part after a little bit of cleanup. The uh, two parts have been painted and they're being attached to the uh, torch holder. These uh, wing nuts will allow me to adjust the height of the torch uh, as needed. The uh, torch holder assembly is attached to the uh, rest of the gantry and things are tightened up a bit. Okay, let's go see how well it works. Here I'm going to cut this old saw blade so that I can use it for another project. The part cut perfectly. I'll be doing a write-up in the future on this little uh, tabletop uh, guide system for my downdraft. Until then, thanks for watching.